So when the dogs come in for their brachycephalic obstructive airway syndrome assessment or their BOAS assessment, we do a number of things. Um, the first thing we do is get a really good owner questionnaire and history so we can find out the clinical signs at home. And this is really because the animals are a lot more relaxed when they're at home, so we get a better idea of the true picture and, and how their quality of life is when they're actually in their own surroundings. Um, we will also get some information about specific um, history or, or clinical signs that we're interested in to do with the disease. So these involve things like, can they eat without any problems? What their exercise is like? Do they have any problems with their sleeping? How do they snore? So it's those kind of things we're interested in. Um, we will then look at the dogs, and when we look at the dogs, we're looking for respiratory effort. So we're trying to work out how much their thoracic wall is moving, if there is any ballooning of the um, skin or the airway in front of the thoracic chest here. And we're also looking at abdominal muscle effort. We then will actually listen to them, and we listen directly over the throat with our stethoscope, and we're listening for airway noise. We're listening for stertor, which is a lower pitch noise, which we usually think is related to pharynx, so a soft palate. Um, and also sometimes a nasal obstruction. And then sometimes we can hear a higher pitched noise called strider, which we hear directly over the voice box or the larynx. And that usually means there is some degree of laryngeal or voice box collapse. We then will take some measurements from the dog. So we measure the um, circumference of the chest and of the neck, and we photograph them so we've got a good record of them. And we also take a DNA swab because we're also working on some genetics because we're hoping to develop a, a genetic test um, to, to kind of distinguish the most severely affected BOAS patients. So once we have our initial clinical examination done, then we will um, go on to an exercise tolerance test. And this is a three minute trot at four to five miles per hour. So we're just trotting the dogs, we're keeping them moving. They're allowed to stop if they want to wee, um, but we're trying to see if they can complete the three minutes and how well they can run and how quickly they recover afterwards. We also listen to their airway immediately after they finish their exercise. And again, we're listening for any increase in airway noise. And again, we're looking at their abdominal movement and their chest girth movement and seeing if there is a lot of effort when they're breathing or if they have any struggle when they are breathing. When we have that information, we give the animals a functional grade. So we can say whether the animals are mildly affected, um, severely affected or actually non-affected. So we sometimes also assess control dogs. Once we have this information, we then go on to the more objective part of the assessment. The technique is called whole body barometric plexismography, and it's basically putting the dog into the a plastic chamber. It's like a size of a crate, and then the dog just sitting in the chamber. They can do anything in the chamber. We don't really sedate the dogs, and we don't anesthetize them. So it's... Um, it's really safe and easy to perform. And we collect the data for about half an hour to one hour time and to get sufficient data. And we actually only need 20 consecutive traces and then we can analyze the data afterwards. Now we have a numeric score we call BOAS index, which is from zero to 100%. And we can score the dogs and say, if the dog is severe than the others. And so zero is the dog that doesn't have the disease at all. And one 100% is a dog have the most severe status for us. So based on this, we are able to screen the dogs and for the disease of brachycephalic obstructive airway syndrome. And also we can use this device to say if our surgery to correct their upper airway is actually working. Um, so this has give us lots of opportunity to study the disease and also to um, help the owners and dog breeder to to know their dog's breathing function.